Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to upgrade Ubuntu 22.04 to the latest version of Ubuntu that is 23.04, which is also codenamed as Lunar Lobster, which was officially released on April 20, 2023. And unlike Ubuntu 22.04, this is a short term release that will be supported for 9 months, that is until January 2024. Now this latest release ships with new features and updates which are tailored to improve user experience as well as to enhance the efficiency of the operating system. Now before getting into the application part, let's see some of the features of Ubuntu 23.04. Now it comes with GNOME 44 which is a significant improved version which is included in Ubuntu 23.04. GNOME 44 brings several changes and tweaks that give Ubuntu a revamped and polished look. First you get a new look wallpaper with a signature lobster logo to match Ubuntu 23.04. Then the file manager is also enhanced. The most conspicuous change is the ability to expand folders in the list view which allows you to view the directory's contents. The quick settings menu has a modern and refreshed look as well. It is split into two sections with an individual section expanding to display a submenu when clicked on and then each section displays information such as network name, power consumption, nightlight status and many more. The Bluetooth quick settings button has a designated menu that displays connected devices. Then Ubuntu 23.04 introduces a new Flutter based installer replacing the default installer. And Flutter is an open source and cross-platform UI framework developed by Google. And then comes a lot of new software versions and utilities. Anyways, we are going to talk about these new features in a different video. In this video, we shall stick to the application part. Now, before moving any further with the application part, I will highly suggest you to have a backup copy of all your files before the upgrade commences so that your data will be safe. And be sure to save all your crucial files on a remote location or a removable hard drive. Then let's begin with the upgrade. And as always, we shall begin by updating the existing package list and repositories in our system. So I'll just open the terminal first. So the shortcut for terminal is control plus alt plus T. All right. Now let me just maximize the terminal. And then we shall start with sudo apt hyphen get space update and hit enter. You will have to enter your password since we are using sudo command. If there is a need to update the existing package list in your system, it's going to do it for you. And then the second command is sudo apt hyphen get and space upgrade. Then you hit enter. Now this upgrade command is going to upgrade all the installed packages to their current or the latest versions and you can see my computer is already upgraded. So if there's any need to upgrade the repositories or the packages in your computer, you should go ahead with it. It might take some time depending on the speed of your internet. But once you are done with it, the next command that I'm going to use is to check the version of Ubuntu which is currently running in my computer. And the command is catcat space forward slash etc forward slash os hyphen release and hit enter. And you can observe Ubuntu 22.04.2 LTS is the version which is running on my computer, which is the latest LTS version of Ubuntu. Now the next command is sudo space apt space install space update hyphen manager hyphen core now this update manager core is a prerequisite for upgrading to ubuntu 23.04 and it's installed by default on ubuntu 22.04 which is the current version which means it might already be there in your computer but if for whatever reason it is not installed then you should run this command and from here also you can observe update manager core 
is already the newest version so that means we don't have to do anything here now the next thing is to update the sources dot list file by replacing every instant of jammy with lunar so i'll just write sudo space sed space minus i space single inverted comma s forward slash jammy forward slash lunar forward slash g then close the inverted comma in space forward slash etc forward slash apt forward slash sources dot list and hit enter so it's going to replace every instance of jammy with lunar now once again we should update the package list for the system to sync with the changes that we have made to the file so i will just use the arrow key to scroll to the update command and hit enter and it's going to update the package list as well as the repositories so just let it complete and if you face any problem in trying to read the command then let me make the window smaller so that the command that i'm going to write can be visible here all right now the next command that we need to use is the upgrade command so use your arrow key to scroll to the upgrade command so that we can install all the new updates hit enter and uh, you can observe these are the packages which are going to be upgraded you can observe it from here the following packages will be upgraded if you want to have a look at the packages you can do that otherwise you can read from here 885 upgraded so zero newly installed and it's going to need 681 mb of archives and after this operation 74 mb of additional disk space will be used we can just type yes or y and hit enter and then it's going to start downloading those packages and ubuntu is going to attempt to upgrade those packages for you and again depending on the speed of your internet connection it's going to take some time so in the meanwhile you can just sit back and relax and let the upgrade process be over after this upgrade process is over we are just going to finally upgrade to ubuntu 23.04 and you can see that there are services installed on your system which need to be restarted when certain libraries such as library pam library c etc are upgraded since these restarts may cause interruptions of service for the system you will normally be prompted on each upgrade for the list of service you wish to restart now you can either choose this option to avoid being prompted by choosing this yes and it's going to restart the services during package upgrades without asking you so you can just tap on yes and hit enter now this process is going to take a while because the installation of all the packages and initialization of those packages is going to happen now now finally we just have to run one command to perform the upgrade so just type sudo space apt space dist hyphen upgrade and just hit enter enter your password and uh, it's going to need 613 mb of archives and after this operation is over 1977 mb of additional disk space will be used so you can just type y and hit enter now once all these processes are over we just have to reboot our system and the system is going to reboot into ubuntu 23.04 which is the latest version so i'll just write sudo space reboot and then we just have to wait for the system to reboot
and then you will be greeted with the welcome page where you have to select your user and then enter the password so you, now you can see the new wallpaper of ubuntu 23.04 and uh, let's check current operating system version so i'll just open terminal and here we have to type cat space forward slash etc forward slash os hyphen release and from here you can observe it's ubuntu 23.04 and the code name is lunar that means we have successfully upgraded our ubuntu from ubuntu 22.04 or you might be using 22.10 and we have successfully upgraded to the latest version that is 23.04 if you want to see some of the changes in the new version you can just click on this quick settings and you can see here we can see the sub settings under each of the settings like we have wired then if you click on this arrow you can see the sub settings under it and uh, if you are connected to bluetooth then from here you can see the devices to which you are connected to so the design of this settings is more intuitive and one very welcoming change is in the file explorer now if you open the file explorer or the gtk file picker here if you open any folders where we have pictures or videos you can actually see the thumbnail views of those pictures since it is a, a new computer so i don't have any pictures to show but if in case you have some pictures or videos you can see the thumbnail of those videos or pictures so anyways i'm going to make a new video regarding the features or the new features of ubuntu 23.04 for this video we are done with the upgradation part i hope you like the video so don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching